Hey, what's going on, party people? I decided I was going to make some short form videos of ARK because there's a bunch of stuff that I want to get done before Aberration DLC expansion pack comes out and I don't want to... Uh oh Don't want to necessarily... Yeah, you can handle that. Just fly around and kill them all. Come here. And we're out of here. We got a GPS. In the meantime, since you've, uh, since I've last been on the stream with this, I've built that second base that was uh, in the southern part, near where the Cave of the Hunter is. I've since then, rather, I've built a third base around Um, like 60 latitude. Uh, I almost want to say 60 latitude, 60 longitude. Almost. Ooh. I'm too far away from anything to make use of that. Really? Okay. Piece of shit. Dire Bear would actually be pretty good. For like collecting pelt. I want to make some more fur armor. I lost the last set of fur armor I had when I got killed. Damn it. Anywho, we're out of here. So I'm going over here. That mountain up there in the volcano-ish area up on top, the very, very top, has a tech cave in it. Super interesting. I'll take a peek up there real quick. Um, after I'll do it before I grab what I came to grab. It's, um, it's really interesting. Apparently I need, uh, I think I need to beat the three bosses in those three obelisks. The blue one, the green one, and the red one. I think I need to beat those bosses on the hardest settings before I have a specific number of items that I need to actually enter the tech cave. In fact, let's just go up there real quick. Is it drawn in? All right, that's where I'm going. That's my, my cent center of the map base. So, made my way up here. Start over there, down there, and go here. Let me just run over there real quick show you what I actually need to get in there. Take my clothes off so I don't fucking dehydrate. Shit ton of crystal, lots of metal, good amount of obsidian. And basically any mountaintop. Try not to go into the lava. It won't kill you right away if your health is high enough. But um, it will do burning DPS. You will catch fire. <laughs> so here's a tech cave. And essentially, maybe I don't need to do it on uh, 100%, but there is definitely a tech terminal here. I'm assuming that this is the last area I come to for the story. Um, I could just kind of hang out and go straight for the bad, uh, the big boss thing, but that's a lot of shit that I gotta get like top tier animals I have to kill. I actually have some of them already just from surviving the animals. Lead Sitchithis? Blubber? 
Megalodon Fin, Megapithecus, Mosasaur, Raptor Claws. I have a few of those. I think I've killed like three of them. Tosatuthus. I believe that's, uh, um, what do you call them? Anthropods? Those giant octopus looking things? I don't think I've seen an Alpha Tyrannosaur. Maybe I've seen it and I just uh, haven't engaged it. Come on. So I'm gonna head back now. Well, I'm gonna head to my base now. So yeah, I don't, um, that's one of the major benefits of having different types of armor. Is that they're good in different environments. A really hot environment, like the beach, like I'm cold right now. That's not enough to keep the frostbite off. It's unfortunate. It means I'll die of hypothermia if I'm um, not careful. So this is an all metal base. It's not 100% finished yet. I've got some animals here in this little storage area. I got a, um, a Carnotaurus, a Baryonyx, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, and a Parasaur. I need to finish up these walls and finish painting them. And then it'll be done. I've got working electricity. I've got uh, industrial grinder. I don't really see much use for it except for turning certain primitive resources into other resources, which doesn't really help me because I could just go out and get the flint and thatch, but I didn't know that at the time. I made a vault, huge storage, 150 slots. I've got dye for painting, coloring my hair. Hair scissors for grooming, and also cutting hair since I'm short on pelt for making fur armor. At a smithy for actually making armor and weapons, some of them. Paintbrush for painting my animals, but it's a little trickier than I'd like to invest time into mastering. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Show my weapons in a little bit. I have a fabricator, runs on gasoline. I have a simple rifle loaded up with shock trank darts that I made using uh, regular trank darts and uh, uh, biotoxin. I'm gonna need some more Titan Boa Venom. Um, I have a chemistry bench which basically works just like a mortar and pestle but it runs on both electricity which is what this wire is right here connected to this junction box, which is connected to a gas power generator. I leave this on at all times because it's the only thing keeping the lights on. But not just the lights, also the refrigerator. Keep a bunch of raw fish meat because I have a, like an exclusively fish meat eating bird. Uh, Pelagornis. I've got an industrial, whoop, industrial grill, runs on gas. I've got an industrial cooker, which I can use to make things like soups and stews, as well as like combination meals. Basically combination meals or any type of uh, dye can be made with that also. Combining different types of berries, made with some spark powder or charcoal. Stuff like that. I have a bookshelf for recipes. I don't really need them, but they're there. Just in case I come across something I haven't learned the Ingram skill for, I have an industrial refinery. This thing is like 
20 times faster than a refining forge, returning metal ore into metal, also gas powered. This is my hut. Didn't really need a, a metal bunk bed, but I figured I'd go and match the decor. As you can see, the original color of this, all the metal here is actually metallic, like the bent, like the railing here. But I really like the rust on it. It's a really nice touch. Um, there's also, I just painted it all black. The only thing I couldn't paint were the railings. Like some of the fixtures that hold the structures together. Like that there is an elevator platform. I'll get to that in a second. Um, these were gifted from, uh, actually, no, I got these when I went into a cave not too far from here where I got the, the pack, uh, pack artifact. Cave of the pack is probably latitude four, uh, yeah, latitude 40, longitude 50. It's not far. I could run there in like 20 or 30 seconds. It's not far at all. Died there several times, lost a bunch of animals too. Contracted a disease from giant flying bats. That was not cool. I've got an advanced pistol. Ammo to go with my fabricated pistol, which I have a flashlight attachment to. I've got advanced rifle ammo. I made like 200 rounds. No, 400. 400. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I had almost a thousand rounds. I found that to be the most efficient way to deal with animals, especially in caves where I can't move around too much or rely too much on my much larger animals. So I had to get a bunch of smaller ones. Um, clever hunter pack. I can actually do the easy mode for the green uh, obelisk boss right now, but I want to get all of the artifacts first and then move forward from there uh chain bolos i made crossbow i have another one here with some grappling hooks because apparently i'll need grappling hooks in the in the cave of the massive because there's lava in there and i can either have a jumping dinosaur or use a shit ton of crossbows uh, excuse me grappling hooks i feel like i should have made more i feel like i should have more actually I remember making eight of those. I don't know where the others went. Got a spear bolt. Or the harpoon. Launcher. For when I go underground. I should have left that at the other base. I really should have. Because that's where my scuba stuff is. And that's where I'm going to be making the stuff for the Megalodon. I'm going to take this back by the main base. Uh, the first base, rather. Trank spear bolt. I'm going to grab this, too. Um, can I put anything on this? Scope attachment? Nope, shit. All right. Um, shotgun shells for my pump action shotgun with a flashlight attachment. Yep. Rocket launcher with grenades. Only made 50. Those are hella expensive. I've got metal arrows to go with my composite bow. But they're way stronger, but I've already got a shit ton of regular arrows. So, excuse me, I might as well use those. Um, I think that's about it. I got a tree sap tap, but whatever it is, I could use tree sap to make. I haven't had a need for it yet, so I didn't bother. Um... Um, I think that's about it. Oh, sniper rifle. With a silencer on it. With a advanced sniper rifle ammo. 200 rounds. That's about it. I'm either going to need to spend a lot of time 
cutting my hair or looking for an animal. Fucking, I lost a dire wolf in a, ca in a, in a cave. I can't get him out. I got him in, but I can't get him out. He's too big for something. He's uh, stuck down there. Dire wolves are really good for getting pelt from certain animals. And now I'm either going to have to look for another one or just bite the bullet and use the scissors when my hair grows out. So I'm going to grab my baryonyx. Level them up real quick. 500. Drop the rotten meat. He's got fish meat. I'm going to replace that with regular meat. Regular raw meat. One thousand. One of these days, I'll have to get into uh, painting my animals. Do something cool with them. <laughs> so, look at this guy. Very fast swimmer. Standing still and hit jump, he leaps forward. He leaps very, very far forward when you're walking or sprinting. I'm gonna have to get used to his jump distance when I get into that lava cave. I actually might not want to risk it considering he could die, <laughs> fall into the lava and die. Um, so I'm gonna run this stuff over to my first base, and I'll pick this up in the next episode. Nope. I'll try that again. I have to pee. No, oh, I was too low to the ground. I'm gonna try this again in the next episode. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>